Hey guys, what's up? It's time for a new firmware from Samsung. This time it's the XWS and for the Samsung Galaxy S2i9100. Stay tuned on how to flash a new firmware on the Samsung Galaxy S2, the international variant of course. Hi again. So Samsung just came out with a new firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. That's the international variant for the Samsung Galaxy S2 which I have over here. Um, remember folks, this can be flashed on an AT&T, Sprint or Verizon uh, cell phone. It has to be the international variant. Anyway, they came out with the XWLSN firmware. It's version 4.1.2 came out a few weeks ago by at the end of March. It's intended for the Nordic countries, for the some Baltic uh, countries, and India. So I downloaded the XWSN firmware from sammobile.com slash firmwares. Don't worry, I'll provide a direct link to the firmware itself. So the first step you have to do is to turn off your Samsung Galaxy S2. So I'll turn it off. For your folks wondering out there, I'm using a custom ROM. It's the a vanilla root box. I have a link and a guide on how to install that somewhere around the video. So once your Samsung Galaxy S2 is fully off, you have to put it into download mode. You have to press the volume down, the home button and the power button for like 10 seconds or so. And you should be brought into download mode. Yep, you got it. There it is, download mode. Make sure you've got a good quality micro USB cable connected to your computer and just put it in there. The next step you have to do is to press volume up, which is a confirmation that you're going to go to download mode. Once it's connected, head back to your computer and find the file you downloaded. In this case, it's the i91XWLSN. It's a zip file, so you have to extract the contents of this file. Remember, folks, uh, that it has to be the .tar file in order to flash via Odin. It can't be zip or the Z image, whatever. It has to be the .tar.md5. So it's extracting right now. And remember where you, where you extract it. And as a quick reminder, don't forget to have uh, Samsung keys installed for driver communication issues between your phone, your Samsung Galaxy S2, and your computer. Once it's extracted, head over to Odin, open it up. I'm using Odin version 3.07. Don't worry, the link will be in the description below. And hit PDA. And before we hit PDA, make sure that we got, uh, as you can see over here, it says COM5. It means that there's a successful com communication or connection between your Samsung Galaxy S2 and your computer. So hit PDA. Head over to the recently extracted uh, folder, which is the XWSN. And there it is. There is the .tar.md5. Select open, give it a few seconds, it's, it will check the MD5 of the, of the file itself, making sure it's not corrupt or if it's not damaged. So it looks like everything is fine. So the next step you have to do is click start and it's going to begin flashing the XWS and Jelly Bean firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So I'll be back once it's fully um, installed or flashed. So right now it just rebooted, as you can see with the boot screen, this is the official firmware from Samsung. And most probably it's going to get stuck at the boot up screen because I came from a custom room, which was vanilla root box. And I always highly recommend whenever you flash um, an official firmware or a new a custom room, make sure you do a wipe partition and a wipe cache. Because you know there can be some platform incompatibility issues which will arise later on some errors you'll get due to software uh, problems between the two platforms so I highly recommend you uh, wiping the partition it's also known as a factory reset and a wipe cache remember folks if you do a wipe uh, partition you're gonna lose all your data so as you can see um, it looks like it's gonna get stuck um, I'm going to give it uh, a minute or two.
and as you can see it didn't load up it's a black screen that some of you guys have been experiencing before meaning that um, it's due to, due to some incompatibility issues and again it's going to boot up again so the next thing you have to do is to of course remove the micro USB cable we don't need that anymore since it got stuck on the boot up screen you have to remove the battery wait for one to two seconds put the battery back inside the next step you have to do is to put the phone into recovery mode that's by pressing volume up the home button and the power button all at once for 10 seconds keep on holding it don't let go yet we have to wait for the screen to flash twice there so right now you can let go and uh, we're going to do a wipe partition and a wipe cache this is the Android recovery mode of Samsung so we head over to wipe data factory reset yes delete all user data of course so data wipe complete yippee do a wipe cache partition just to make sure and reboot system now so hopefully now I put back my cover it should uh, boot uh, successfully So there is the Samsung boot up screen. It's probably loading up right now. So give it roughly about a minute or two. Hey again, and it finally booted up to the setup screen. This actually took roughly about three to four minutes. So don't worry if your phone gets stuck on the Samsung logo screen. Just be patient and it should load up. So let's set that to United States. Click start. You can skip the Wi-Fi, next, skip the Samsung account, no, not right now, not, not now, next, 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 and finish, and we should have the home screen, okay, there you go guys, I am running the XWLS and uh, firmware to double check. We head over to settings. Let's go to about device, and there it is. It's 4.1.2, and it's the XWLSN firmware, which is great. So that's basically about it. If you got any questions or any queries, or if you're a bit hesitant again into flashing it. Feel free to ask me in the comment section below and don't forget to like, to subscribe and thanks for watching.